Yeah, I'm Palmer Lucky. I'm the founder of Oculus, inventor of the Rift. If anybody's going to tackle these set of hard problems, we think that Palmer's going to do it. I was really interested in virtual reality technologies. Um, I was a bit of a hacker, modder, uh, video game enthusiast, and I wanted to go out and buy something. But all of the headsets that I had tried, I said, these aren't nearly what I'm trying to do. So I decided I was going to have to try and create something myself. I didn't honestly think it would get as far as it did. It was just kind of a fun hobby to, you know, pound on for a little bit. Uh, but after a while I realized, wow, you know, this, act, the technology really is sufficiently advanced now. Uh, you really can make a pretty decent VR device very cheaply out of off-of-the-shelf parts. Um, and the result of that was the Rift. I mean, there's a lot of head-mounted displays over the years that just haven't been successful. Um, they've been very expensive, very poor in quality, or both. Uh, I think the main difference now is that technology is finally there. We have very high density mobile displays that are high resolution. We have great motion tracking technology thanks to cell phones and game controllers, you know, getting motion trackers. And we have graphics horsepower that can render lifelike environments in 3D at a high frame rate, which didn't exist even really five years ago. So that for the first time in history, VR is really possible to do well. Um, at a price that people can actually afford. So it took a lot of different prototypes along the way to get to where we are now. Um, but I think what we have right now is probably the best set of compromises you can make with everything that's available on the market. I was interested in 3D before it was cool again. Like I had an IZ3D monitor, I had, I had several 3D monitors um, before Avatar came out and made everybody think 3D was new again. So I was, I'm a 3D enthusiast as well, but VR is just on a totally different level from 3D. 3D is, it's cool, but it's only bringing you one small piece of the puzzle. Whereas the whole goal of virtual reality is to try and simulate reality. Uh, if you're making a virtual reality device, 3D isn't another feature you put on the device. It's a necessity to replicating reality. 3D, uh, especially in the UK, and I don't really know if you guys over here, but, but it seems to have died. It's on every single TV, you know, kind of everyone's got it. I don't think it's so much that it's died. Um, like you said, it's in every single TV. Yeah. What's happened is it's just become commonplace. It's yeah. not, it's not, uh, it's not a pusher mover technology anymore. It's just something that every TV has. Lots of movies come out in 3D and nobody really, uh, it's not really a selling point anymore. So I don't know if, it, if it, I don't think it's dead. It very much survived. It's just not getting hyped as it once was and people do want something more than that. Would you, would you think we won't see it ever again, really come back and VR will be, you're, you're now the, you'll be the, the god of VR. VR is a totally, like I said, it's a totally different set of technologies because the goal is different. The goal isn't to try to add a feature to an existing medium like film or, uh, you know, gaming on a monitor. It's to, to try and create an entirely new medium. So mediums tend to have more sticking power than features. So would you say that VR and 3D can work together separately? Like there will be VR and there will be 3D or do you think you're... Yes, yeah, so no, there will be VR and there will be 3D. VR isn't going to replace other mediums. It's its own new medium. Um, it's not going to replace, you know, the cinema. People are still going to watch movies. Yeah. Uh, they're not necessarily going to want to watch every movie as some VR experience. But do you think it would work? It could work for film, VR at all? Oh, I think it, it could work, but they're going to have to specifically make it work. They're not going to be able to just take existing films, cram them into a VR device, say, great, now it's, yeah. it, this is better than film.